Welcome back to the garage here at Basin Motorsports. So you have a C5 Corvette and you have a diagnostic code that showed up or a check engine light. Normally you would need on any other car a scanner for the DIC, but on the C5, I'm gonna show you today how to quickly check without a scanner. First thing I need to do is take the key, put it in the ignition, turn to the on position without starting the vehicle. Now on your display, one thing you'll notice is that if you have any doors open, you will have a door ajar or some other indication. In order to remove that, you can then just hit the reset button on the very bottom and you'll notice it'll beep and it'll reset itself to current temp or whatever you had on your display. Now next, in order to get that to show me the diagnostic mode, I'm gonna hold the option button and hit the fuel button four times. One, two, three, four. You'll notice then it changes and it starts to automatically scroll through the items in the subcategories. Now as it goes through each subcategory on its own, it will or will not show you if it does or does not have codes. So obviously if it has no codes, you'll see that it shows no codes. If it does have a code, it will indicate which does. So obviously my PCM has one code stored. And after it scrolls through each one, it'll show you a manual diagnostic which at that point you can use your options button to then scroll through each one. So TCS has nothing. I'll hit the options button to manually scroll to the next subcategory. The BCM, none. SDM, none. So again, just using the options button. IPC, nothing. Radio, nothing. HVAC, nothing. The LDCM, nothing. I keep scrolling until I get to the end. If you reach the end of the categories, your options button will no longer change it. You can then use your trip button to go back through each. So as I'm gonna keep just using that until I get to the PCM, which shows I have one code. I'll then use my gauges button to go into that, which shows me what the number is. It's a P0156, and you also see that it has a C listed. Now you may see that these have a C or an H or both. C means is it a current problem? H means it's historically been a problem, but may or may not be to what it is right now. And if you have a C and an H, it has been historically a problem since the last reset, and it is a C for current. Now in order to remove this, I need to go back out of the mode into the general subcategory so I can use the options button to go back out to the manual subcategories then select the PCM which does have the code and then I can press and hold the reset button it will beep and then shows you you have erased the codes to have no more codes now once you have all your codes erased you can then use the E slash M which is your units stands for English slash metric so you can scroll between that will take you back out to the main screen which shows you a display of temperature or fuel range or any other indicator that you're using on your DIC. From there, you can just simply use a web browser to look up what the code is and then start the diagnostic of repairing or replacing what needs to be changed in order to alleviate the code from coming back. Now, if you do have a scanner available, obviously this will show you the same code and it will also indicate what the code means. So typically a P0156 that my vehicle has here, my Corvette has, it is related to an oxygen sensor. So that means I can then go look at what the problem is or potentially replace them if they haven't been changed lately or they're damaged. So that's it from this time from Basin Motorsports. Hopefully this gives you an easy way to check the problems with your Corvette without needing the scanner. We'll see you next time.